This experiment was designed as an exercise in culturing and transfecting HeLa cells with a plasmid and confirming insertion. The plasmid consists of green fluorescent protein and a selectable marker that confers resistance to an antibiotic. Only cells that have the plasmid inserted will survive the antibiotic treatment and express the green fluorescent protein. In order to confirm plasmid insertion, RNA will be isolated and its amplified cDNA will be run on a gel. Everything with open flasks must be done in a sterile environment, such as a flow hood. Cells are checked for confluency in an inverted microscope. They are then cleaned with PBS and have their adherence to the dish removed by trypsin. Then the suspended cells are passed to a new dish containing fresh media culture and left in an incubator at 37 degrees C and 5% CO2 until their next passing. Because mammalian cells do not willingly take up exogenous DNA, the plasmid was inserted into a lipid vesicle, lipofectamine, that can fuse with the cell membrane to deliver the plasmid containing the genes of interest. Cell samples containing 0, 4, 8, and 12 microliters of the lipofectamine reagent were transfected. Incubate cells for three days at 37 degrees C and analyze transfected cells. Cells are lysed with the reagent triazole because it breaks down the cell membrane and cellular components without degrading RNA. DNA and cellular components were separated by centrifugation and cellular debris is removed. Once RNA is isolated, use Kyogen one-step RT-PCR kit. The kit contains a reverse transcriptase, which creates cDNA from RNA, and a polymerase, which amplifies cDNA via PCR. Run out each cDNA sample on a 1% agarose gel. A lambda phage DNA ladder was used as a standard. NeoRGFP has a length of 1.5 kilobases and shows up here on the agarose gel. I'm not even filming that. I'm not even filming that part. What? <laughs> what? 
Go. Go. No, 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 no. You shouldn't on your face. Oh, she'll like that, she'll like that.